Okay, so let's look at the SMTP, POP3 and IMAP. The SMTP is used to send email, POP3 and IMAP are used to read it. Okay, so let's open up our trace and we can examine it. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing we do for to collect our evidence is to be able to identify the IP address and the TCP port of the machine which is sending the email. So in this case we can see there's the connection to the server. So the host is 192.168.0.12 and the port it is using is 17.13. The server in this case we can see is at 0 0.13 and the port it's using is of course 25. So who's sending the email? Well, if we want we can actually just follow the stream to be able to watch it. Okay so there's the commands that are being used. So Martin Tor is sending the email. This is a receipt a CC and then for the data and the subject well, there isn't actually any subject, and we look at the data, there isn't actually any data sent because there's the dot, and that's the end. The email client that was used is Microsoft Outlook Express. And the end is carriage return line feed, that's a return a dot and then a return. Okay, a return, a dot and a return. So when that is entered then the, the mail is now queued and will be sent when things are ready. Okay, let's look at our second trace. This time we're going to be reading our email using POP3. Okay, so again, we'll look for the IP address. So here's here's the connection here. So the machine is 192.168.0.4 and the port it's using is 26272 and it's connecting to port 110 and the server IP address is 0.13. Okay, if we want we can follow that. Not got too much there. So let's try the next time it connects, which is here. Not too much again. In fact, let's just use our flags. Here's a connection here. Let's try another one. Okay, so we can actually see in, in this one here that we actually have some information. So we can see here that this is the mailbox here and there are three messages in the mailbox. If we go through then here we are. Okay, this is a better one then. So okay, so here is the here's the ID for the messages. There's three messages in there. So then what the user is doing is retrieving the first message. Um, we can see the details of that, that message. There's the headers. There's the 
what is received by, there's the subject, there's the message to, and so on, and then we should be able to see the message in here. Uh, this is multi-part, so it can be made up of multiple things, attachments and so on. So I can see here, here is the, here is the main message. Uh, the equals 20 is a space. Okay, so that's the first email message. We can see it's in HTML there. Second email message. You can see the sender here. And so on. And then again, we can actually read who it's from. So the main message is in this part here. And there's the message in there. Okay, so that, that's the POP3 investigation. We can see the three messages. And now what we'll do is have a look at IMAP. Uh, so again, we can go through this. And this time we should, this time there's an email being sent. You can follow that. Okay, so there's the email that's been sent. You can see there's the message there. And then what's happening is that uh, we'll actually see an email being received from IMAP. Okay, so if we trace through this, we should be able to see the, the messages in a similar way that, that POP3 uh, is used. For the final part, what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually send an email. So for this next part, we'll open up okay, VMware so Workstation. So the first thing we do, for what we'll do is we'll evidence is to be able to identify the IP address of VMware and the TCP port device of the machine which is sending. And then what we're going to do is we're going to communicate. So with in the this SMTP case, we can see there's the connection this to the computer, server, and so we'll actually the type host in the commands one that would one normally be used when we're actually sending an email and message. The port it is using is 17.13. The server in this case, we okay, can so see, it just takes a little minute to start is up. at 0 0.13, and the port it's using is of course 25. So who's sending the email? Control out one and set this follow stream to be able to watch and it. Okay, so there's the commands that have been used. There we go. So Martin Tor is sending the email. This is a receipt. If we want to find a CC at any time, then, the then for the date that actually open on a host subject, net start minus A. Well, there isn't actually so a subject. See that SMTP we look at the is data. open as a service. It isn't actually so any this data workstation. Because there's the dot is hopefully an SMTP server. That's the end. So what we'll do is the we'll have a look at what the IP address is of the server. Outlook Express. We'll then bring up a console. And then what we'll do. And the end is carriage return line feed. Yes, we'll That's a return. It. A dot. And then a return Into to that okay. VM, a return, a dot, and a return. Port so 25. when that is entered, then the, the mail is now queued and will be sent. Okay, when good. So we're in. Things are ready. Just move this over here. Okay, let's look at our second help. Trace. This time we're going to be reading our email and it tells us what it commands it supports. So we say hello, me. Mail from. Okay, and so again, just type in an we'll email look for the IP address. Here. So here's here's the connection here. Okay. And then so we'll the, the machine is 192.168.0.4, and the port it's using is 26.272, and it's connecting to port 110. Now we're going and to send the IP our address. Data is from 
2.2.227.15.166 Okay, if we want we can follow that Not got too much there And this is just as, uh, let's try the next the email can I sent from the client I can put in, which is here, a date Not too much again Subject and then what and we can do, let's just use actually. our flags we press return twice and a dot and then we can now quit right okay so here's a connection here okay so hopefully the email has been queued. So the stress that we go is to okay. so we can actually see Top in, in this one here that we Let's actually tap. have so mail information. So we can see here that this is the mailbox and then to yeah. queue and there are three messages and in the mailbox. Here we are here. So this is the message that's been queued. Well, if we go just through, print. then here we and are, and that is there. Okay, so that's the okay, core. This is a better one. Then. Message that we actually so, okay. sent. So here is the so use the ID for the message. It's not been transmitted. What would normally there. happen on an SMTP so then server what is that the this would be queued, is doing and then it would be sent. But message. we can actually set that up. Um, okay. We can see the details so of that. That, that message shows you there's the header. SMTP. There's the 